Good people of YouTube, what is going on? Jake Bender here coming at you with another video. Today, we're gonna do a little life update where I've been the last month, why I haven't posted any videos or any uh, updates, training videos, competition videos, and just catch up on everything that has happened over the last four weeks of my life. So stay tuned, I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see in future videos because we are back. All right, it is 5.17. We are officially off for the beach. Moving in July 1st. Long story short, four weeks ago today, I had emergency surgery to have my appendix removed. It was Thursday evening. I had just gotten done working out, posing with my coach, feeling really good, um, feeling really confident the second time around. Thought I looked a lot better. It was bringing an overall better package. We really pushed it the last four weeks from the last show, so I was feeling good. Left the gym, went to the grocery store, and started to feel a little weird. I thought I was just hungry. Um, so I went home and I had my last meal of the day, post-workout meal. And about 30 minutes later, I was on the couch in some pretty severe pain in my abdomen. I couldn't really walk or breathe. It hurt pretty bad, honestly. Um, so that was something that I had never experienced before. It felt like someone was stabbing me in the stomach with a knife the pain was shooting really sharp and there was nothing that could solve it or fix it so i went to bed it was maybe around 10 30 about an hour later i couldn't even lay there without wanting to cry the pain was so severe um, i couldn't sleep i was just laying awake and shortly after um, that, I was in the bathroom for about three hours vomiting. Everything that I had eaten the entire day was coming out. And it's gross, but those are the symptoms of appendicitis. So for future reference or warning, if you guys are having severe abdomen pain in the lower right region, you know, throwing up, have a high fever, uh, definitely recommend you going to the hospital just to make sure everything is okay because if it bursts that's a whole different story um, you don't want to go there you can be in the hospital for weeks at a time and it's also uh, life-threatening so definitely recommend if you're in that severe pain to go immediately thankfully the next morning on Friday uh, as soon as my family woke up we went to the hospital um, to the ER and got a CAT scan spoke to the doctor, um, he came in and essentially said, you need emergency surgery right now to get your appendix removed. You have appendicitis, uh, a hernia, and gallstones. So that was a great start to my Friday, the day before the competition. And as soon as he told me that, I knew there was uh, obviously a 0% chance of competing the next day on Saturday. So I was, bummed out to say the absolute least. I did not want to go to the ER. I wanted to push it and try to make it, but you know, thankfully my family around me convinced me and basically kicked me out of the house um, and said I had to go get it checked out. But thank you to them for staying with me. Thank you to Annie for staying with me the entire day, seven hours in the hospital. Um, but honestly, it was a pretty quick process. We got there at 10, 
and I was back home in my bed at around 7 p.m. So got there at 10, got all the tests done, found out I needed surgery, went into surgery around 3.30ish and basically just went home after. It was an outpatient surgery, so I was home that same day um, and it was pretty rough. I was in a lot of pain, very loopy from all the drugs, nauseous um, for a few days after, just it didn't do anything but lay on the couch. Um, thankfully, the College World Series for baseball was on, so that kept me busy. But then was the next bad news of no working out for six weeks post-surgery. So basically, the doctor was super clear in saying that I can't do any physical activity for six weeks. No lifting, no running, no surfing, biking, nothing. So. That was just the news I needed uh, before the summer coming up that I can't surf, work out, do any of the things that I actually enjoy doing. So that put a little twist on everything. I kind of just took a step back, reevaluated everything, just made a priority of, you know, spending a lot of time with my family and just, you know, being intentional about being present the last four weeks, which has really been um, awesome. But you know, I definitely miss working out. I know now and kind of got a taste of it. Like, it's not the most important thing in the world. You know, we all have our hobbies and things that we need to enjoy, but really need to prioritize the things that are really important. So it's been a good time to reflect and kind of look at my life in general and try to get some things together. But I'm going to do my first workout today. It's week four. Um, I can lift up to 15 pounds, so not going to be any serious weight or uh, much of any weight at all, but we're going to do what we can here and at least get the blood flowing a little bit. This is the first one. You're going to take it super, super easy. I'm going to do some arms and some shoulders. I can't do many exercises. I can't do back or chest or anything like that or legs, so we have shoulders and a little bit of arms today just to get the body moving the blood flowing and then we'll go on a little beach walk later this evening but that's the plan i appreciate you guys tuning in and listening to the video um me ranting for however long this video is i hope you enjoy this little workout montage i'll be back with more daily vlogs soon of course supplements workout is brought to you by bpn code bender saves you 10 percent on all bpn products and helps support me Today, we are going with the Pink Lemonade Flight. I haven't taken pre-workout in four weeks, so we're just gonna go with a little, little baby quarter scoot for the day. That's about all we need. So a little change of scenery here since we're at the beach. This right here is going to be our little workout spot when we get the squat rack. Since I can't lift anything, um, I can't get a squat rack because it's too heavy to lift. So once that comes in, that will go on this wall here. Um, we'll put down gym flooring squat rack and then we have all the dumbbells over here easy bar that's the flooring plates are all around here and then we can open up door here and then we have this whole outdoor workout space here that we can do stuff all up and along here so definitely going to be a sick spot when i can start working out again so who knows maybe even we'll put a squat rack out here or something pull up bar. I don't know. We'll see, but that'd be cool.
So just like I was saying, super low key workout. I did four rounds of shoulder press, bicep curl, front raise and side raise. Just wanted to get the blood flowing. Um, I still having some pain actually. Um, so not going super crazy. Just want to get the blood flowing. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate you guys supporting me even through this rough patch. Um, like I mentioned earlier, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And leave a comment what you want to see on a future video. Love you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out.